I left surfing to go start a business with my father in Nevada. Never expected to go back to the ocean. Figure out how it was going to be. And then over the years, when I got back to the ocean, I discovered there was a surf mat waiting for me. Took that thing down to the beach. It was a day like today. Bumpy, wind swelly, peaks all over. I went down to South Mission Jetty, paddled out. I didn't know anything about how this mat's going to really work. Caught a wave and sh shot straight down like a rocket ship. And by the time the wave caught up with me, I was, you know, I got tumbled. But man, what a feeling. I had a great time the whole way in. <laughs> The first drawings I was doing was cartoons. I was a teenage surfer, so that was my subject matter. Came to San Diego to go to college and got a fine arts degree, but I was still a surfer and even in college I was doing surfing cartoons and drawings that related to surfing. I drew the logo and I did some cartoons for a surfing magazine to advertise a fresh fish surfboard company. And within a couple of months, I got a call from the editor of the magazine. He says, you know, we like your cartoons. So I went to work for Surfing Magazine about six months later. And then I drew Campion, submitted a story of uh, this character named Don Redondo. Four or five stories, I did all the illustrations for Don Redondo, 74 to 75. After I was there four years, I left Surfing Magazine because I wanted to be a fine artist. And that went on for a while and I just, I didn't want to be a starving artist. I wanted a money-making career, as simple as that, and I never intended to go back. As time went on, I just started thinking about surfing again and started doing wave drawings, and then Drew Campion got a hold of me, and he wanted to revive Don Redondo for the British surf magazine called The Surfer's Path. And he sent me a, a script, and I took the script, and I started doing roughs with pencil. So here I am as kind of a director of this movie. I could figure out what the cast is going to look like, what they're going to wear, what the scene's going to look like, what the background's going to look like. I did the drawings by hand on paper, scanned them. And from there on the computer, I put the panel, the, the black and whites all together. And then all the color is digital, all the coloring and all the special effects, the type, the lettering that goes in, put it all together, did it so it looked great on the screen. And the first one had no idea what it was gonna look like when it went onto a printing press. It went to the press. I never saw any proofs or anything. I got the magazine mailed to me. I rip open the magazine. It looked better than it did on my screen. It was just really cool. And it was kind of nice to see a, over a four year span, to see my technical abilities change and the style and the look and feel of the comic actually got better and better, I think. Turns out this was like right when the economic crash started happening. And we did our last episode. The magazine business went away. And what I did is now gone. It's all, really nobody does what I did anymore, for money anyway. I sold my business, came to San Diego, and when I got back to the ocean, I just wanted to surf. I got on the surf mat and started mat surfing. It was uh, a little embarrassing at first, going down to the beach with an air mattress under my arm. And I had to kind of sneak down to the water's edge because nobody knew anything about this thing. And I'd blow this thing up and I'd put my swim fins on. But once, once I got out in the waves, I found out right away that something's happening here. To make the, the mat perform, everything's really subtle and really intuitive, and you don't even think about tricks and snappy cutbacks. The whole goal is to go fast and go fast down a line, down a long wall. And that was a bit of a surprise when I started learning mat riding, but I, I loved it. That was really cool. You're going to go out on a soft thing that changes its shape all on its own sometimes, and there's always the element of surprise, usually good, hardly ever a bad surprise on a map. They go off in their own direction, but never goes off in the wrong direction. It's always seeking the, the fastest fall line on the wave.
There's something about what attracts me and maybe everybody to the mat that's just that going out in the water on this thing, this surf mat that nobody understands. And it's like painting. Is you never quite know how that painting's going to turn out. You never quite know what kind of rides you're going to get with a mat. Uh, there's nothing like catching an ocean wave and, and sliding down this wall of water, even a tufa wave. Nothing is like that. They just glide and fly across the water. And there's just there's something magical about that. The same with creating things. This, you know, there's a mystery involved in riding a thing as much as a mystery involved in making a picture. And uh, it's what I want to do. I just can't stop. It.